Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to fix some errors that might occur in a complex road system created with Easy Roads. I have here the demo scene from the Easy Roads package available on the access store. The scene is set up as shown in the part 1 video. Now if I hit extract waypoints, a couple of errors will appear because the waypoints are not enabled by default in version 3.2, so you need to manually enable them. So, if you click on an error, it will automatically select the road that needs your attention. Select the road network and make sure it is in edit mode and select a road segment. See what road type it is, then go to settings, select that road type and add lanes, in this case Set the speed limit and then update the scene instances. Also, make sure generate lane data is enabled from AI traffic. From scene settings, you can enable display lane data to be able to see your lanes. And to make sure everything is updated, you can click refresh road network. If you extract waypoints again, that error should go away and now you should have fewer errors. Repeat these steps again for all your roads. I will speed up the video until all errors are fixed. Now only warnings are left. This tells you that some of your waypoints are not properly connected, so you need to fix them manually or to edit your road system. This warning says that section 1 is not connected to anything, so if you click the warning, that road will be selected and you can inspect it. As you can see, this road is not connected to anything. It is not a good practice to leave your road like that. But in this case, that is nothing it can be done. Traffic cars will stop there. Move to the second warning. This piece of road does not have waypoints at all, so you need to link it manually. I will build the terrain for a better view. If you select show disconnected waypoints, only waypoints without connections will be displayed, so it will be more easy to find them. Manually connect the waypoints. As you can see, this lane should be in the opposite direction, so the best thing to do is to delete it and create it again. Select a waypoint, make sure it is from the right lane and delete the parent. Now create the lane manually in the correct direction. More details about how to create a road can be found in the Create Road tutorial. Connect the exit waypoint and check the giveaway box. In this case, the vehicles will stop and check if the lane is free before entering. Do the same for all other road parts that have no waypoint. 
This side road is not connected to the main road and this is not a crossing so you need to manually link it and set the giveaway mark. If you select a waypoint inside this connected waypoints window, it will take you to the waypoint location to be able to investigate the issue. Try to connect all the disconnected waypoints from your scene. This is a roundabout that has no waypoints so as before I will draw a new road and connect the side roads on it with giveaway option enabled. Continue to link these connected waypoints until all of them are linked properly. After you are happy with the result, hit apply settings. On large scenes like this one, it can take up to a minute or more because it will convert all waypoint game objects into runtime structs for a better performance and memory optimization. Now you can add your traffic component to the scene and test it. As you can see, cars are working properly and they even stop before entering the roundabout. Thank you to the Easy Roads team for the support and thank you for watching.